Thank you. If many of you are like me, uh, the thing you most look forward to at events like these are the speeches. <laughs> and I know many of you were truly disappointed that uh, the staff didn't open up with a PowerPoint. So uh, I have brought some uh, graphs of my own. Uh, and um, although Judy and Yvette asked me to speak for about five minutes, I'll presume that that really meant 90 minutes. Uh, so if we can put the first graph up. We didn't get it loaded. OK. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to come back to that. Uh, seriously, I'm so deeply honored to accept this Labor Rights Defender Award on behalf of the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers. Indeed, I'm proud to be up here representing the thousands of women and men at the IAM who fight every day for justice and dignity on the job, not only for themselves, but for the millions of workers throughout the world. Like those that live thousands of miles away in Bangladesh and Uzbekistan, and those who live just down the street, like the aerospace workers at Boeing in South Carolina, where in the year 2016, one of the most courageous things a man or woman can say on the job is, I want a union. The IAM has a long history of fighting for labor rights like many other unions that are represented here today. Over 120 years ago, an IAM member ventured to Zurich, Switzerland to be there for the founding Congress of the first global union federation, the International Metal Workers Federation, or as we like to say, the good IMF. Uh, like many of folks here and many of your organizations, we worked with the metal workers of South Africa to fight against apartheid. And most recently, as uh, Yvette already mentioned, we worked closely with the ILRF and, of course, the WRC and Scott Nova to make sure that the Bangladesh Accord would be meaningful as it changed a corporate culture that built supply chains on the backs of the most vulnerable workers in the world. Our members know that a global economy can only work if it works for the world's workers. The IAM extends our congratulations to Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur our longtime friend and ally whose leadership opposing trade deals like NAFTA and the TPP and many other things is truly, truly magnificent. To human rights defenders in Uzbekistan for their bravery and heroism in the struggle to end forced labor in the cotton sector. And of course, to the IRLRF, its hardworking staff, its incredibly uh, talented staff in terms of acting, and of course to Judy. The ILRF has stood with us, they've stood with all of us for over 30 years. Through their great work campaigning, seeking enforcement of workers' rights, spreading international labor rights to every region of the globe, the ILRF and its dedicated and truly hardworking staff keep the fight up for workers everywhere. And for a union known as the fighting machinist, that's all we can ask for. So uh, I think I've got about 85 minutes left. Uh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, just kidding, Judy. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you on behalf of the machinist union.